Does it make sense to mix your own blend of, of finish? Or is it cheaper, is it better than, than buying a commercial finish? Well, in this non-scientific uh, experiment, I'm, I'm going to compare my favorite Minwax antique oil finish with a DIY mixture. And along the way, I'm going to show you a number of uh, finishing tips. So in this non-scientific experiment, uh, I mixed up one-third of boil in seed oil, one-third of mineral spirits, and one-third of the only varnish I had on hand, a polyurethane, uh, and stirred it up. And then I'm going to compare that with Minwax Antique Oil, my favorite finish, which basically doesn't have any varnish in it. It's mineral spirits and some type of oil, primarily, I think, uh, boil in seed oil. I pour what I think I'm going to use in a very, in a very small container to avoid being able to uh, put contaminated uh, finish back in the can. And I just put it in that little container. I do most of my finishing on this Lazy Susan with a mechanism from hardware store or Woodcraft. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this top rack which I uh, use to spray paint uh, ornaments with. So I'll just pull that out of the holes and, and set that aside. Now I'm going to liberally apply some of this finish. This is the way I do it for both finishes. I'm just going to pour some in. I used to rely on these uh, bore brush cleaners uh, out of flannel, but I find that they leave an awful lot of lint, so I try to avoid using those if I can, if I don't have any uh, t-shirt strip around. My preference is going back to uh, strips of white white t-shirt because generally they have no uh, in the middle area no no lint it's just a little more work to tear them and cut them. So I'm going to take this just liberally rub it in. I just blot the finish in on this textured ring that I have uh, with some you know kind of torn up uh, ripped up grain. Uh, the finish absorbs more into this torn grain which makes it darker, which is which is nice. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I could use a paintbrush for this, but this is uh, I don't have to clean a paintbrush or waste 50 cents on a chip brush to just to throw it away. And do the do the bottom. And I generally my general process is I put in on one coat and then wait overnight. Generally overnight, if I do it at, uh, work on it late at night, it's generally the first coat's generally absorbed and and pretty much cured by the next next morning. After that, it's 24 hours between coats. Just liberally apply it. This is a men's change bowl or valet bowl. I'll I like to make them about six and a half to seven inches across. This is maybe a bit smaller. And then I put my fingernail in the groove and rub it around. I'm always using uh, these blue nitrile gloves. They're fairly thick. Get these from Harbor Freight uh, fairly inexpensively. It takes me a long time to go through a, a, hundred, pay, a hundred, hundred of these things because I get to use them a number of times before they uh, rip or I get dye on them that I can't use them for general finishing. Now I'll let it sit. I wait five to ten minutes to give it a chance to uh, soak in and then kind of evaluate the exterior to see is there any s sitting oil that I need to really pay attention to but generally I take an, another clean rag and I just buff it as best I can just so you'll have a very thin layer of oil and you get rid of any any excess that will cause a problem in the in the finishing just buff it and this is just the first coat first step i do the same same process with every every step every every additional coat uh, generally it takes me oh four, five uh, coats to build up a shiny finish. Sometimes I, I stop at two or three if that gives me the finish I want. I can see some of that lint that's stuck in there. I may have to get a pick to get that out. My little finishing uh, squares 
I keep them in this uh, gallon jug that's open with a hole in the bottom to be able to just reach in and pull one out when I need it. But they're generally not much more than, oh, two to three inches square. So when I finish with them, because of the uh, risk of spontaneous combustion, which is a serious risk in a shop, I just stack them up on the corner of this metal rack until they're completely dry. It might take two, three days. Uh, then I just toss them in the, in the garbage can. None of this finish is something you want to breathe, so either use a respirator. Uh, ideally, if you do use it, get indoor, make sure you have adequate uh, ventilation, crack the door, and that's why I have this right, my finishing area right close to the door, so even in the wintertime, I can open it up for a little while, get some fresh air. It's the beginning of day three. I can't see uh, any appreciable difference in the finish. By the way, these are busted uh, bandsaw blades I use as little trivets to, you know, keep it from contacting this nasty wood. I give both bowls the rather unscientific sniff test to smell the finish. Uh, the more you can smell it, the more longer it has to cure. Um, and I can't tell any appreciable difference, although the odor is, is slightly different. So I add my third coat. Each one in a different container with a different different rag so as to not contaminate the results. I find the more I embellish bowls, the more difficult it is to mess with the oil getting it down in all between the cracks and crevices, but that's just the way it is. And again, I wait five to ten minutes, take a clean rag or the edge of one that doesn't have finish on it and just uh, just buff it in real good make sure I don't have any of the finish pooling up or collecting uh, draining out of any uh, knot holes. Sometimes they'll go in the knot holes and then they'll come back out while it's still wet. So I'm going to buff both of these. First a little triple E. Not good to breathe this stuff, so you ought to wear some type of uh, mask. I'll have a more complete video, a uh, link to a more complete video on buffing at the end of this video. Alright. I'm going to show you the difference between how these uh, different uh, finishes actually dry. We're going to start with a drop of uh, polyurethane. We've got a drop here of my homemade antique oil with, with one-third mineral spirits, boiled linseed oil, and polyurethane. And then the third one is going to be a drop of Minwax antique oil. And we're going to come back in 24 hours and I'll be able to think show you the difference between how they react. Here's the oil drops on, uh, the finish drops on plastic. This is polyurethane. It's, com it's the film finish. It will not penetrate into the wood. It just lays on top and it's already dried 24 hours later. This is the DIY oil uh, mineral spirits and polyurethane and it is still kind of tacky and you can see it's kind of shrunk up in the drying process but the oil takes a while to dry. This, the Minwax, has somewhat similar uh, appearance and it is still not completely uh, cured. Okay, so both these bowls had uh, four or five coats. Uh, so what's my takeaway? Well, frankly, I can't see the difference between the two finishes. Uh, it appeared to me that the DIY with the varnish in it took a little bit longer to dry between, between coats, but the, the finished results are essentially the same. So what's my takeaway? Well, frankly, I just don't think it's worth the effort to try to uh, try to make your own unless you're in a pinch. If you run out of, of your finish and you have the other ingredients on hand, give it a try. Or if you just like to mess with stuff, uh, then go ahead and mess with stuff. But uh, frankly, uh, I really like my, my Minwax antique oil finish. It doesn't have any varnish in it, as I think I might have mentioned before. It's got mineral spirits and and an oil in it and that's about it. It seems to dry a little bit faster and I just love the results because it's, it's, it's easy and, and foolproof. Uh, I'll have a link to this stuff uh, in my Amazon uh, shop in the, in the show notes. Now I know someone's going to ask me, is this finished food safe? Well, 
The prevailing wisdom is that any finish is food safe once it's completely cured. And uh, so that, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. So if you want to see a longer video on, on my finishing uh, technique, click on the link above. If you want to know more about uh, using a Bill Buff system, click on the link above. Y'all stay safe and come on back here.